What is up is back with Castle Helmet and last episode we actually finished the solar invasion. What? Solar invasion. Oh. Those days, isn't it? <laughs> so we actually finished the solar eclipse weapons yesterday and now we're moving on to the pumpkin moon and the first weapon is going to be the unreal candy corn rifle. Now, you can actually buy ammo from the arms dealer and it costs 5 copper and it's called the candy corn. It has a 13 range damage with a 33% chance of a critical hit. Extremely weak knockback and it is ammo. So every 3 or so hits, you are going to be getting that critical hit. Now, moving on to the unreal one. Actually, let's get out of here because we don't need that. Um, yeah. Go back up to the farm. The Unreal Candy Corn Rifle has a 76 range damage, a 44% chance at a, at a critical chance, insanely fast speed, very weak knockback, and a 33% chance, so every one in three bullets will not consume ammo. So, um, actually, we gotta remove you. So, it does fire, and it actually does knock back, and it does, in fact, bounce off walls as well, so... Candy corn rifle right now, I mean, obviously if you had an ammo box or anything like that, it would be extremely, extremely overpowered. As you can see, I can actually hit him, and because I can hit him again and again and again because of how he's positioned, I'm actually doing a lot and a lot of damage. Maybe not as much as the nail gun from the last video, but it is still very, very OP, especially if you're doing bounce shots, because this thing will bounce off. Uh, it does have a max range, it looks like, though, uh, for the amount of times it can bounce off. As you can see in the house, right above the pirate, as soon as it hits that, it'll break. So right now, I'm just making candy beard right now. <laughs> as for accuracy, this thing has very, very good accuracy. In fact, I don't think it moves. I think it is very, very accurate. It's actually really good for a candy corn rifle. Not only does it bounce off walls, but it also um, it also does a lot of damage. So that's great. Moving on to the penetration test. It will actually go through all three enemies, but as you can see, when it hits the last, when it hits the third enemy, it hits that wall right there, it will not actually bounce off so that's interesting to note that it can go through three enemies and then hit a wall and not actually um not actually um go back through which is actually quite interesting uh if you're dealing with a horde maybe uh if we go to the roof here oh excuse me uh we do that and maybe you like really want to hit that last enemy you can start bouncing it off walls and then it will still only hit three enemies. So that's interesting to note that yeah, you can actually bounce off walls with this weapon. So pros, it does a lot of damage. It does It really is a good weapon. Pawns is that it uses a different ammo source. So if you are using, uh, say you're using Unreal SDMG, you have this. That's one slot that cannot be used to hold ammo, so maybe if you're trying to only use this, but you also want that in case, you'd only have three stacks of 900 and 900. Not to mention, if you also do have a bow and the endless quiver, then you only have two spots, and then if you have your special ammo, then your wires, because I always have wires on me, and I also have wire cutters, but I removed them for this, but you know, that. You won't actually have any space to put them in your ammo slots, so you'll actually have to hold it there, which, to be honest, I don't really have a problem with it. We toggle stealth mode as well. It's 117 damage. 76, 117. Critical hit chance. Is so, while in stealth mode, this thing is going to do a lot and a lot of damage. It's also interesting to note that... Um, Put a target down. that even when you hit an enemy that your ammo will still continue to go and it won't veer off target which is actually quite interesting and it's actually quite useful because um, that way if you're dealing with enemy up close but they're behind you can deal with all of them 
in uh, one swift swipe. But that also does a lot of, lot of damage, so I mean... It's actually a really good weapon, and I do recommend you get this. This is dropped from... I don't know who this is dropped by, to be completely honest. This is dropped in the... Pumpkin Moon, which... The hard mode, I think it's post-Planterra as well, so you do have to kill Planterra. I don't actually know. I gotta go find this. Okay, I'll be right back. Go farm. Back. So after a brief period of uh, research, I was not about to go farm because you know, I'd have to wait another day. And it's easier to research. It is dropped by the Pumpkin in the Pumpkin Moon event, and it is rarely at a 14% dropping. So every time you kill the Pumpkin, it will guarantee you one drop, and so there's a 14% chance this here for an rifle. So I'll talk to you guys in the next video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, hit the like, favorite, subscribe button, and I will talk to you guys later. Peace.